back on this Wednesday morning. So if you're driving along M28 this morning with winds gusting around 30 to 35 miles per hour, you can encounter some blowing snow that at times could limit visibility. So we continue with some windy conditions this morning as well as some lake effect snow. So that's the main thing that you kind of have to look out for this morning, especially if you're near Lake Superior. Gusts ranging 30 near 35 miles per hour early on this morning and then it decreases in strength throughout the course of the day. So we're really not going to be dealing with those windy conditions that we had during the overnight hours later on this afternoon. So here's what's happening right now. That storm system is exiting the Great Lakes moving up into Canada. It took more of an easterly track yesterday, which meant that a lot of that snow took more of an easterly track as well. Now we're looking ahead to this clipper system in southern Saskatchewan that should be bringing in a little bit of some light snow for portions of tomorrow. This morning, though, it's some lingering lake effect snow for the higher elevations of Berga, Marquette, as well as Alter and Luce counties and those higher elevation spots. With that wind, as I mentioned, you can encounter a little blowing snow, so be mindful of that. But we will still have a little bit of that lake effect early on, and then it diminishes later on this afternoon. Plan on some cloudy skies, some light snow tracks south of the UP tonight into tomorrow morning. So we could have some light scattered snow showers kind of graze along the Wisconsin state line by early tomorrow morning. Most of the day is kind of cloudy tomorrow. Here comes a little clipper system bringing in another little bout of some snow across the western areas and across the southern stretches of the UP for tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. Our highs today into the upper 20s for most areas with isolated 30 degree readings tonight teens to around 20 degrees for our lows and then tomorrow generally kind of some mid 20s across our northern areas and a few upper 20s towards the southern areas of the UP. This weekend there's going to be some changes headed our way. The pattern actually shifts in the jet stream and it brings in some snow with our next strong system on Saturday but not just that it brings in our very first kind of cold blast of the year. And then following that, some lake effect snow with below normal temperatures that will continue into next week. So here's the jet stream and the pattern that's going to unfold. Big cold air mass and trough over in western Canada will dig into our region this weekend into early next week. Here we go with that system filtering in. This is Sunday morning. By this point in time, we have some cold air filtering in out of Canada. So as far as those temperatures below normal, by Saturday we're looking at teens and then by next Monday, some single numbers with overnight low temperatures and the single numbers below zero for Sunday night as well as Monday night. Now as far as the system this weekend right now it looks to bring in some widespread snow on Saturday but not just that some strong winds are expected with the system actually stronger than what we're experiencing right now so that's going to help usher in that colder air and then that will also lead to blowing snow being a big factor for travel on this upcoming Saturday. We will still have some lingering Lake effect snow on Sunday into portions of Monday and next Tuesday.